Riley is Anne. And what's your relation to Derek Kerner? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Yes. Just the girl. Okay. So uh, first off, uh, you were speaking today in court after sentencing. Um, what did, what made you want to talk today? What did you want to get across before the judge gave out the sentence? Just for her to know and realize that she's destroyed more than her life and her she's destroyed a lot of our lives. Took an angel away from us that will never be taken back. Uh, there's plenty more words that we really wanted to say, but we obviously could not. Um, I mean, it's heartbreaking because we knew of her before she was with McDermott. Um, she was totally different. So she got she got swept away somehow by McDermott and allowed it to be you know, selfishness and she was worried about I, I in my eyes I think she was just more worried of leaving losing him you know having that man in her life I don't that's my thought of what she thought and she just allowed I don't know how she allowed the devastation to be on her child and never stop So what did you make of the judge's ultimate sentence of 4 to 15 years? <sighs> to be honest, Lee, I think she needs a lot more <laughs> um, to stand by and allow it for your child. She deserves nothing less than a life, I believe. But, I mean, the judge did what he could by the state, which is understandable. He's a great judge. He did wonderful. And so um, what did you make of his statement note where he's noted that? He normally wishes people luck, but for both McDermott and poor McIntosh, he decided, I wish you no luck. So what did you, you make of that part? Uh, <laughs> I held back laughter because I thought it was great for him to, you know, let her know that he does not wish her well because of what she's allowed and accepted. Uh, to me, it was, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful statement from him. And so I kind of alluded to it earlier, but what specifically made you want to speak today before um, the sentence was given out? Just basically to get out to her, to let her know that, you know, we did we did care for her. We were there for her. She All she had to do was make a phone call to any of us to help come and take Kai out of there. But she refused, and I think that was the strongest point for the speech.